Hey everyone, so I'm here today to talk about the funk. Now, I guess that could mean a lot of things, but I'm talking about that creative funk. And I think every artist goes through it where they either don't have any ideas or they're bored with their own stuff or they just can't get the energy to get up and go do something and they don't like anything that they do or they have too many ideas in their head and they just can't execute. There's all different levels of this funk. Um, and I too, right now, am in a little bit of that creative funk. My personal thing is that I just, I, I don't have enough quiet time to just sit and kind of ev evolve through the funk. It's just kind of like, okay, you've got an hour, go. And I think a lot of people can resonate with that. But I, I also know that I will always stay one step ahead of the funk. Like I'm not gonna let it get to me too much because I'll always kind of do something. That's just personality, who I am. I think it's the entrepreneurial spirit in me and I've always want to do something different and evolve. But in speaking about that funk, I want to talk about um, a painting that I did called Fight or Flight. I'm gonna drop that in here. So this painting was the first truly, what I'm gonna call truly abstract painting I've ever done. Mostly because this was a purely emotional response to something I could not put words to. And I don't think that even in you know, the after of that painting that I even think I could even put words to it. All I know is that I was in a pinnacle of situation, pinnacle of emotion, and I hadn't been creative, and I literally blasted the music and went to the canvas to paint this. And it is purely a departure from most anything that I've done in the sense that uh, number one, I think it's the first time emotionally I put put it all out on a canvas and I actually was crying while I was painting it and I was laughing while I was painting and I was dancing while I was painting. It was, it was a culmination of all of the emotions that I had been feeling at the point of realizing, okay, this is a thing. I am, I am separated. I am, I'm getting a divorce. I'm alone. I, I gotta figure this shit out and it was stopping my creative energy, but then also building a new type of energy, if that makes sense. It was actually not the loss of something, but almost the foundation for something new. Now, I'm not going to say that, oh, I've been prolific since then. That's not really what I'm saying. I'm saying that sometimes as artists, we are able to build a color palette that resonates so deeply with ourselves and can almost shake others. And I feel like what this painting is because it right now is in the center of the gallery, the focal point when people walk in and it, kind of stops people in their tracks and not I don't I think it might stop people in their tracks for different reasons some people are like uh that's totally different for you because it's filled with warm colors and I usually paint with cool colors like the teals and stuff like that um but I also think it is jarring and I think it needed to be jarring not only just for you know it being a good painting but because I think I needed that and what the cool thing about this painting is that as I started painting it, I had a brush in my hand and I was like, okay, I'm in my funk. I'm just gonna try to do something. And at some point I had turned the music up and I was kind of jigging as I call it, as I'm painting and tears and laughter and like, oh, I love this song and wiggles and all that kind of stuff were happening. And then there was another stage the next stage was I was squeezing oil paints into my hands and almost attacking the canvas, stretching, pulling, pushing. And when I was done, and people always say, how do you know you're done with a piece? When I was done, I was exhausted. So I don't think that the funk is something that you cure 
I think the funk is a necessary part, like almost a metamorphosis into the butterfly. And that butterfly charts a new course. And I think the funk has purpose. So I almost want to change the perception of the funk to be that you almost need to pause when you're in the funk and to recognize that this actually is the vehicle for change in who I am. And if I, if I allow that to swallow me and make me feel like, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm missing the opportunity for change or for this total shift in maybe what you feel about art. Like I said, I did not consider myself someone that did abstracts, but out of that, it opened up something for me bigger than I would have ever been able to find any other way. Something that just shakes you. And um, again, how do you know you're done? I literally walked away from that piece exhausted. And I think there's something to that as well. It's not about the piece itself being Louvre worthy and um, you know something that is going to get critical acclaim for its masterfulness. Sometimes a piece is done because you've left everything on the canvas. All right, you guys. Um, if you are feeling funky, um, you know, maybe even just sit and realize what that means. Maybe just, is this someplace you've been before? Is it something that you think you can get through? And sometimes you just need to turn the music up and paint and see what happens.